Hello dear family. You know I did those two videos of that stuff in the sky. Well, this is what all this is all the same. I'm just gonna briefly show you this and then I'm gonna tell you what other things. Notice over the sun it's I don't know if you can see I can hardly see the sun's blinding me, but it's just right over the path of the sun. Look at it over there, I mean can you just see? It's just a, it's just a, an atrocity. That's what it is. Like what I said in the messaging, uh, the comment section, it's an absolute atrocity. You can see it all that white. It's just like conveniently covering the sun. I mean, the sky would be absolutely blue today if it wasn't for this stuff that injecting into the stratosphere as they call it basically dumping bloody chemicals in the atmosphere that's what it's all about anyway here i am um thank you for all your prayers and comments wow really bless me you do i'll just show you the view of um, my town where i am uh, th th there's the cliffs as you can see it's really hard for me to see because the sun's so blinding. But I mean, you can just see that that white white haze, what they've put into the atmosphere. It's just so obvious. Uh, but unless somebody points it out to you, you you don't know. You don't know about it. But just look at it all. But sometimes you, it's difficult to tell whether it's actually a sea threat or mist. But um, that's the the castle where I live in Scarborough. That's the t that's the the old town over there, but it's, it's quite a big town actually. I, I think it's got about hundred thousand people, so it's not that small. There's quite a few people about on the beach, which is good to see. Anyway, I hope you are all right, all of you. Hold on, two secs. I hope you're all right. Like I say, I, I love your coming comments and prayers. I, I woke up this morning after being a demonic attack in my, in my sleep and uh, I, I woke up, I'm not afraid of these demons, not at all, um, but they must have just caught me off guard or something, I don't know, but I, I got up, I rebuked the wicked spirit, cast it into the pits of hell and then I looked on my phone and I just told somebody, I replied to somebody, I don't know, I can't remember who it was, but they prayed for me anyway. And I felt this great sense of peace come upon me. I was sure that God answers our prayers. So, um, the only thing that's going wrong with me at the moment is I'm suffering a lot of heart palpitations. Um, I don't know why I live such a healthy lifestyle. and garlic, I know it sounds awful, but I blend them together in a hot drink. I'll just show you where I'm going up this little path, it's nicer to look, nicer surrounding. Yeah, I do live in quite a nice town. Um, it'd be nicer if they weren't spraying all this crap in the sky. Uh, so yeah, so I have that cranberry and garlic drink. Um, sometimes I add a teaspoon of uh, coconut oil in it as well, because coconut oil is got some antibacterial properties. Uh, well, sh I just realised I was blocking the microphone, sorry. <laughs> so I start the morning with a cranberry and garlic drink. I know it sounds awful but it's quite nice. You can't even taste the garlic, the cranberries are, are sweetened and it's lovely. Uh, I drink something called chlorella. Um, it's a, a, I think it's a freshwater algae. Um, fine, a fine powder, and I use something called spirulina, which is all, that's a a, um, a sea algae, and uh, I make a hot drink out of it. It's the only way you can properly dis dissolve it. So, so I use it in a hot drink, and that takes out uh, spirulina and chlorella contains something called chlorophyll. And these two 
these two uh, ingredients, spirulina and chlorella, contain the highest amounts of chlorophyll, which actually uh, basically sticks metals to it and takes them out of the body. So according from what I've uh, learned from tests done in the soil, the air and the water, this stuff is full of metals, aluminium, uh, strontium, barium, titanium and lithium and apparently sulfuric acid and nanobots, nanoparticles. Uh, God only knows what else. I'll just let these people pass. It is a bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is aching. <laughs> God bless you. So, so yeah. Uh, so the so the chlorophyll takes out these metals from the body, and um, it's the number one best thing in the world to detox your body. Uh, chlorella is the number one best thing to take out metals and detox. And then I I drink uh, I squeeze the juice of two or three lemons and add a drop of water and I drink that on an empty stomach and although the, the lemons are obviously high in uh, ascorbic and citric acid um, when they go into the body they balance the uh, acid pH level in the body uh, so I do that every morning so um, yeah, I have a really good diet, and then I have flax seed, sunflower seed, chai seed. I grind it all together, and I add uh, dried prunes, dates, and figs. Um, sometimes I'll add some fruit to it, some other fruit, fresh fruit to it, not dried. And uh, so I have this really healthy breakfast. Um, so I don't think it's got something, anything to do with um, my my eating why I'm suffering these palpitations but um, I'm praying about it constantly um, if it's a spirit of infirmity well I'll loose it off me and cast it into the pits of hell uh, so it could be something to do with this it could be something to do with the the frequencies um, the 4G and the 5G you think about it these uh, devices the, the 4G and the 5G is giving off electromagnetic frequencies and radiation and this is go, going through us so anyway the Lord um, I stand on the Lord's promise um, Psalm 91 with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation so uh, I stand on that and other ones I stand on as well just a second and other verses I stand on like uh, I think it's Psalm 103 he heals all my sicknesses and all my diseases um, stand on the Word of God and I, I urge you as well to stand on his word um, and walk by faith not according to sight so according to my sight I'm looking up at all of this and I could I could start to get worried though, because we're breathing it all in but but I don't so much now I like I say I, I walk by faith not by sight so I'm seeing this and I think well my faith can overcome this because my faith is in the Lord Almighty and in his son Jesus Christ uh, and nothing is too hard for the Lord so so there you go I'm just gonna pray for all you guys you're so wonderful I love you all. Yeah, and I really appreciate your prayers. I'll just uh, go into this little, this is a Victorian uh, shelter. I'll just go in here. I'll throw a few in here when these people are past. Whew. I hope you're all doing all right anyway. I just give my love and blessings to you. You really touched my heart with all your prayers and and your uh, comments. I, I love reading, going through those comments and just seeing how faithful you are and how active you are in your faith and um, steadfast, which is um, what I need to be like as well. So, dear Father God, all the people who are watching and listening to this, Lord, I just pray 
They are your children, Father God. They are your sons and your daughters. So, dear Father, when they watch this, whether it's later, whether it's pretty much straight away, it doesn't matter. You'll use this prayer to bless the people who are watching in the name of Jesus, Lord. Bless them, Lord, and keep them. Keep them in your love, Lord, perfect love, which casts out fear. Um, you'll make your face to shine upon them in the name of Jesus, and you'll be gracious unto them, Lord. Grace and power, power of the Holy Ghost poured out into them. Um, you'll lift up your beautiful, holy, righteous countenance upon everybody that's watching this and give them your peace, which passes all knowledge. In Jesus' name, I pray you really, really touch the people with his prayer, whether later, tomorrow, whenever. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So if anybody is watching this uh, and has not uh, laid hold of your salvation, then uh, please do it because Jesus Christ is about to come. There's, there's no two ways about it. I can't imagine him uh, uh, prolonging the time much longer. He, I, I believe he's uh, giving us more time, uh, people more time to repent, change their minds and believe on Jesus. Jesus said, unless you repent, you shall all perish. So, so all likewise perish. So I'm going to tell you, if you're unsaved, please, please go to Jesus, because Jesus said he will in no wise cast anyone out who goes to him. So go to Jesus Christ. Um, Jesus was crucified on the cross for all our sins. He was buried, and on the third day, God raised him from the dead. And it's very simple to be saved. When you believe that, that Jesus was, was indeed crucified on the cross for all your sins, buried, and God raised him from the dead on the third day. When you believe that in your heart and call upon him, you are saved with everlasting life, sanctified, set apart as holy for, for, for the Lord and for the day of redemption. You're sealed with his Holy Spirit of promise, and God does not go back on his promises. It'll save you. Once you're saved, that is it. All these people that come against uh, once saved, always saved. Well, basically, they're, they're saying, um, you know, they're saying, yes, we believe um, that Jesus Christ died for all our sins. Yes, we believe we have everlasting life. And then they'll say, but, <laughs> and that's wrong. It's completely wrong. They'll say, but we have to, um, keep up the good works we have to maintain our salvation which is completely heretical it's like saying Jesus sacrifice on the cross was not enough to save us when it was I mean I mean I'm a walking living testimony that pff, once saved always saved is true I mean you won't believe some of the things that I should be dead if it wasn't for the Lord I should be dead um, I, I don't want to go into the gruesome details of what's happened to me, but um, I've had uh, I've had people attack me with baseball bats, rounders bats. <laughs> I've been stabbed. Um, I have a bottle smashed in my face. I've been beaten up that many times by police, brutally. Treat, especially in Spain, the police there are just um, they're a law unto them, themselves in Spain. Uh, so I've gone through all that. Um, you know, I, I, I caught. I, I told you in my testimony, I had, I, I contracted a mosquito disease, which was making me so ill, and I could have died from it. I think, especially being homeless and malnutritioned and hungry, and um, well, the Lord sent somebody into my life to take me up to the hospital, where they injected me with antibiotics which probably saved my life. Uh, and then there's so many other times um, the Lord has made sure that I've been safe. I, like I walked from Benidorm to Barcelona, um, 600 kilometers, and I walked with my dog, just a rucksack and a sleeping bag, that's all I had, and a toothbrush and a little pen knife, as far as I remember. 
and I walked up motorways with trucks and buses and everything hurling past me. Uh, I didn't get hit by any cars. I was very lucky, well, very blessed. I don't believe in luck, I believe in blessing. So my life has been blessed and here I am today, still walking in the faith, still loving Jesus Christ, because I'm sealed, saved with everlasting life. So if you are somebody who's watching this and you don't, you haven't laid hold of your salvation, like I say, then, then uh, please do it because Jesus loves you and he's given us, well, he loves the human race that much that he's given us free will to choose. And please, please choose him, choose life. Jesus Christ is, is life, the way, the truth and the life, John 14, 6. So choose, choose Jesus Christ because uh, there's only two options, the devil, the world, and ultimately hell, and ultimately the lake of fire, or everlasting life in paradise above with Jesus Christ with a new body, um, a new eternal body, no more sorrow, no more pain, just eternal joy. So choose, please, choose Jesus Christ. Um, and I always have to remember, remind myself that there's nothing too hard for him. I've gone through so many troubles. I'm, I'm 50, 50 years old next month and I've, uh, I was a chronic alcoholic and drug addict and um, and I'm still here, only because of you, for you, Father God, only because of the Lord God. So, uh, so I'm a walking testimony, like I say. Isn't it nice the view here today? I keep, I keep putting my hand on the microphone. Sorry, I'm gonna have to play it back and see if it's see if it's any good. I hope so. I hope I haven't spent 17 minutes blooming talking when you couldn't hear me <laughs> anyway I'm just gonna go up here so I've told you the gospel it's very easy Jesus wants all to be saved and all all can be saved because whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved Romans 10 13 I think that is if you want to know how to be saved and from the Bible go to go to Romans chapter 10 and look in there and this has got everything about how to be saved. Let's try and zoom in on some of this view. There's a, a, like a big Ferris wheel there. You can see that white wheel. Every time I play the videos back to myself, they're all blurred. So I don't know what's going on there. I think I just pray over this, Father. I should have prayed at the beginning, but it doesn't matter. I just pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, I devote this all to you and for your glory in Jesus name and you will not allow the devil get behind me Satan get off this device in the name of Jesus father you will not allow him to interfere or interrupt with this vital message of salvation and uh, testimony Lord I'm gonna get off now because I'm gonna be uh, there's gonna be people all around me so it's a bit more difficult doing the videos but I love you all God bless. Don't worry so much about this. I was just pointing it out. It's, it's for real. I mean, you can look at it all over the sun. Um, I just wanted you to be aware of it. I mean, I, I don't want people to be ignorant of uh, what, what's really going on because uh, when you're aware of it, you, you can pray. You know what to pray about. And you know the reason why sometimes you might be feeling a bit... Um, lethargic or whatever and it's i think it's got a lot to do with this well it definitely has got a lot to do with this but when you know about it you can rebuke it and say that satan you have nothing in me just like jesus said um, the prince of this world cometh but he have nothing in me so i say the same you have nothing in me satan and all this belongs to you it's demonic and um therefore this has nothing in me either and just remember spirulina and chlorella uh, I'll leave it in the description chlorella and spirulina to the and wheatgrass as well 
um, but chlorella is the most concentrated form of chlorophyll which um, attaches the metals to it and then when you go to the toilet um, they're taken out of the body so uh, if you haven't don't know about that then then take it because you'll you'll benefit from it and, and it's also good for your digestion as well it really helps me to maintain regularity going to the toilet well anybody so um, I do that anyway I'm gonna get off um, all the all these shelters that are like Vic Victorian shelters and they've that left them there and repaired them a bit I think there's a little, I'll just show you over here, there's a little pond because I, I noticed in your comments you said many of you said oh, you like the surrounding areas and, and stuff and I'll try and show you something a bit different each time um, just a, a little pond here but uh, I don't know just a wee pond I think it's got some fish in it you alright there? Yeah, God bless. So, yeah, and I know a lot of people around here. Because, like I say, it's not that of a big town, I think. About 100,000, I'll have to check how many thousand people in Scarborough. But, anyway, God bless you all. I love you, I'm going to have to get off. Have a great day, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, you'll be blessed, I pray. Amen. Glory, glory unto you, Lord Jesus. You are good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen.